A Montreal man is accused of terrorizing the international scientific community through online threats. He's currently being seen by a psychologist and has a bail hearing tomorrow. As Stéphane Jehu reports, many people are now breathing a sigh of relief. He uses the nickname Mavis, but his real name is Denis Marcuse. For the past 20 years, he's suspected of spilling his hatred on the Internet. His target? Scientists whose views conflict with his Christian beliefs. To an author who debunked religious creationist views of the world, he wrote, You are going to learn even to talk about God the way you do is going to cost you your lives. This picture was snapped when Marcuse appeared unannounced at a convention of atheists. The online response, actually it is quite a flattering photo of me. With finger cocked and pointing, I say, and I gotta take out these idiots? Bang! What particularly upset the online community and the scientists targeted by this hate campaign is the fact that police never investigated the crime despite numerous complaints over the years. Then last week, Montreal blogger William Raylan Clark began writing about Mavis and his threats against scientists. I think it's a really serious issue because it's really important to me that scientists can speak freely about their work. And sure enough, Mavis responded with what Raylan Clark says were death threats. If you receive an email at your personal email address, which means the person had to go and look it up, and it says things like, we're going to come and cut your head off, there's obviously some concern there, which is the reason why I marched straight down to the police station and filed a complaint that day. Dennis Marcuse was arrested Tuesday. He's been charged with two counts of death threats. Tracking him was easy, according to experts. If you post a, a comment on a web forum, most likely whoever runs that site knows exactly where you're posting from, has your IP address. Marcuse returns to court on Friday for a bail hearing, though he might be sent for a full psychiatric evaluation. Stéphane Giroux, CTV News.